Hi, audience from Tixirira. We are here with a very, very special guest. He's going to introduce himself and he's going to show us a lot of toys. Hi, everyone. Hi, Felipe. It's great to be here. Uh, I'm a design director for ASUS and I'm here today to talk to you about the process behind the Zenfone 2 design. And I'm really glad to be here and I hope yeah, we'll have a good time and show you some of uh, what we have brought from Taiwan to share with you. Okay, I see a lot of stuff, so tell me a little bit about it. Okay, uh, what I brought here is, you know, on the left side we have some examples, sorry, on your right side, uh, there's some <laughs> examples about some of the accessories that, you know, we, we have designed for the Zenfone 2 and Zenfone series uh, products. On the right side, we have a little bit about the, you know, some of the mock-ups that we use to design the products, you know, especially these mock-ups are the ones that we use to design uh, Zenfone 2 and Zenfone 2 Deluxe and all the other uh, Zenfone 2 series. So, yeah, so um, what do you want to know, Filippi? I want to know a little bit of how do you do it, because <laughs> I see a lot of stuff, but uh, how you start and how you get to uh, like a product, because pretty much uh, begin with an idea. Okay. Yeah, so uh, the first thing that we do is uh, we talk to our consumers. So we have open channels to our consumers, you know, at all times. Uh, we collect information from our customer service. Uh, we collect information from our sales teams. We collect information from pretty much, you know, all our offices that are spread around the world. But we have a special team inside ASUS that goes around, and it's a team uh, for, of design researchers, and they go around uh, talking to people, visiting their homes, you know, seeing what kinds of things that they like and what kinds of expectations they have towards the products. So that's when they bring the information back, and that's roughly when the design process starts. Um, the first step is usually sketches. So we have lots of drawings. The designers, you know, they'll draw lots of different um, uh, ideas of what they want to see for the next generation of products. After they do that, we move on to building the 3D uh, mock-ups. And, and these are the examples that I brought to share with you today. So you can see here, uh, you know, for, for some of these examples, and there, and there are lots and lots of them, uh, you can see this is one of the very early versions uh, you can you can see very easily that we already had a concern about the ergonomics, about having um, you know an arc in the back so that the contact area between the phone and the hand increases, so that when you hold it, you know it has a better grip. So from the very early versions, you know this was something that was very important to us. Uh, the second, um, as as we move ahead, right, the second thing that happened is, and and you have to imagine that. We are, you know, we're always going back and forth between the design and between the technology uh, that we put inside the products, you know, the CPU, memory, um, you know, battery, you know, everything that goes inside, it has, you know, has a certain order and placement. And, and that balance between the technology, you know, doing a combination of the best possible solution for users and what you see on the outside is actually, you know, the biggest challenge that we have during the design process. The second step is, as you see, so we already have the curvature in the back, but you can see that the volume buttons and the power buttons were on the side. But if you, you know, if you see the Zenfone 2, actually the final design, you can see that actually the volume button is in the back, and the power button is here right on top. And why did it change, and how did it change from that first version to, you know, what we have today? I'll look for another example here that will help me share that with you. So you can see here one of the other versions uh, the side profile, and maybe, you know, if I hold it like this, you see that the side profile, we're making it thinner, because it's something that we understand that people value, you know, a thinner side profile. So as we made the side profile thinner, it's obvious that the power button and the volume buttons would not fit here anymore, because it would be too thin. And if you press them, you know, even with the regular force that you press, uh, volume buttons and power buttons, they would be so thin you know, that would hurt your fingers. So we moved them to, to the back. And then there's a second reason, though, as we, as we started testing uh, volume buttons uh, in the back, uh, what happened was, you know, there's, a, there's a, a very natural position here, you know, for your index finger to rest on and to change the volume as you're looking at the screen. And we had lots and lots of uh, different iterations. You can see here, you know, the volume button becomes thicker you know, it becomes uh, wider uh, and shorter, and then we don't have those uh, those recessions here anymore. And it kept, you know, we kept adjusting it and changing it. And this one is getting closer to the final version. See, it's it's getting a little thinner. Um, then the flashlight is already on top, 
you know, you can see on the top, uh, the power button is already on top. And we kept changing it, you know, and refining it until we reached the final version. And this is uh, pretty much, uh, yeah, the final version. And you can see that, you know, the small cup is very close to, to what we have in the end. Totally. So, yeah, so, so the reason why we do this is because sketches and drawings, they're not enough. You know, we have to hold them, we have to try them, we have to get people to try the buttons, you know, to try and see how does it really work. So uh, that's the reason why we do, you know, we do hundreds and hundreds of those, of those mock-ups. And how did you get to that texture that you have on the final one? Oh, okay, the texture. So as you can see, you know, you have the regular, um, you know, colors here for Zenfone 2. So we have, you know, we have red and we have gold. And, and there are a few uh, variations for, for color. But what we know uh, at this point is that actually it's almost like every person wants a different phone. You know, every person uh, wants something different. Uh, for this texture, and, and we call them uh, crystal, you know, it's a 3D crystal texture. And maybe, maybe I can hold it a little bit Yeah, closer. really nice. <laughs> so it's a, it's a very nice texture. As you see, you know, as it moves around, a combination of, of the 3D elements with, you know, the texture and color and the type of finish that we use, as you move it around, uh, the shadows move around and the reflections move around as well. And believe it or not, uh, inside our ASUS Design Center, we developed a special software just for this uh, to create these polygon uh, back cover designs. So I think this one has around 500 polygons, but we tested um, many, many different variations where the polygons were smaller or a lot bigger, you know, where the depth was bigger or smaller depth. And if you if you think about design, you know, design process is really about uh, building things, trying them out, you know, getting people involved collecting feedback and refining them. And I think these are some, you know, just some of the examples. I'll get, is it okay if I get two other back covers to show? Yeah, yeah, would okay. be great. So, um, so you can see, you know, these back covers. I have another one there. So not only, not only the ergonomics are important, but also the aesthetics. And that's, you know, where we spent quite a lot of time. You see these, this back cover here is actually the same, the same as you, the one you see in the final product. But uh, we have different variations, so I'm going to switch to another one that uh, was not released yet, if I'm not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> this is like yeah, a so, premiere. <laughs> yeah, so you can see, you know, same, same kind of approach, you know, different, uh, different color, uh, texture, slightly different, but the polygons, they're pretty much the same. And, and we do that, you know, in order to try, you know, how it feels, how it, you know, how it looks like. I have another one here in pink. And this one was never released. And, <laughs> Why? And we're not sure if it will be released. This is, you know, this is one of the tests that we have, and we test, you know, thousands and thousands of different uh, variations and combinations of colors, uh, texture, uh, different designs, you know, button positions, everything. And I think that's the, you know, that's pretty much the core of our design process is to have as much variation as possible. So, There's, as a an user, I can get to personalize it and make it like a customize it to, to make it like unique for me or something yeah, like that? Yeah, I mean, because taste is so unique, right? There's seven billion people on the planet and, you know, if we one day, you know, ideally if we can have seven billion different uh, covers, you know, <laughs> that would be the perfect scenario. You know, as we move towards that direction, you know, what we try to do is to get as many, you know, as many variations as possible because then, you know, we're more likely, you know, to get uh, people, you know, to appreciate that design more. And, and there's one thing on top of, of what I've been describing here, because we do talk to consumers all the time, uh, but we also check what other industries are doing. So we look at automotive industry, we look at fashion industry, we look at interior design, architecture, and we see how their trends are moving as well. We see what kinds of treatments they're using, you know, what kinds of color surface they have, what kinds of... Okay, so tell us a little bit about those accessories that you have there. Okay. So uh, what we have here is we have uh, three different types of accessories, and uh, one of them relates to power. The other one, you know, the other two that relate to photography. Uh, what we, you know, what we realized after a while is that there, are, you know, two things obviously, you know, that people care about during their daily usage. One is about battery power. Uh, so for that, you know, we we designed a uh, Zen Power, and it's a it's a great product. You know, you can see. You can see the power buttons, the same thing on top, you know, uh, the same thing, the same design uh, uh, strategy that we have. You know, we design it, we have different color variations, you know, we try different positions for, 
you know, for the buttons, we have indicators here for uh, the amount of energy that you have left, uh, mini USB and regular USB. So what it does is basically you bring it around with you. It's uh, it's as big as a, I think it's as big as a credit card. I mean, if it's here, okay. Your business card is, is smaller, but yeah, <laughs> it's smaller than a credit card. But you know, it's it's roughly the same size as a credit card. And the idea is to give people extra power when they go around, and it's small enough and it's lightweight enough that you can bring with you uh, and give you extra extra power during your day. Uh, the other two accessories, they're you know, they relate to uh, and they're and they're flashlights. So they're yeah, Zen Flash and and lowly flashed and, and, and it's cool because you can see the LED lights inside yeah and what you do is you attach it to the top of the phone and as you attach it to the top of the phone it gives you uh, extra uh, gives you extra light for those conditions where you know where there's almost no light there's also something cool about the LED lights and maybe you haven't noticed if I put it really close I don't know if you'll be able to focus there but you can see that the two flashlights, they're actually two different colors, the two LED lights. Yeah. So we call them dual tone. And what this dual tone uh, LED light does is when you're taking pictures, you know, you want the color skin to be the, you know, the perfect uh, color temperature, right? You want it to be the perfect representation of what you see. And usually if you have just a white LED uh, flashlight or it gives a slightly you know, bluish, greenish uh, Yeah, or, or it's going to make the, the picture look flat. Exactly. Much. Exactly. So the idea is that you know, with uh, with a dual color, uh, you know, flashlight, that when you take the picture and you can turn it around, works really well when you're when you're taking selfies. Uh, and then you know what it does is that actually you know it gives you that better you know it spreads the light evenly and gives you a very good uh, skin tone color. So same idea. You know, we look at the product, we look at the functions. Uh, we design, you know, something that will match, you know, the person's lifestyle, will fit in their bag that they can bring around, and that will bring uh, extra value to them. So it's the same, you know, it's the same concept that we apply to designing our our products. It's the same ones that we apply to designing our accessories. Okay, and what's this blue thing that has like a ring on it? Okay, maybe they can take it outside. Maybe. Not. So the blue thing that has. Uh, I don't know. Does it have does it have battery or no? Is it charged? Okay. So you know the idea is that uh, it's the same. You know it's the same thing. It's a, if you have a flashlight and if you have um, a compartment, you know where you can bring it. And this one is is rubber. You can see it's soft. Yeah. And it's protected. I mean the basic idea is the same idea. You know as the, as you have a flashlight, but then this one is detached from the main body, and you can keep it protected. Uh, you know inside the case, and then you can have I don't know a keychain attached to it. So you can bring it around with you and use in different situations. The functionality and the use is pretty much you know the same as Lolly Flash, but this one has more power. This one is more about xenon, so it's actually brighter and more angle. That one is more like you can actually stay on all the time, so you can actually use for video recording. All right. Yeah. So the main difference of flashlight. So you flash. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> so flashlight. You know, will flash better for pictures. You know, uh, this one since it's LED light, uh, it turns on and it's good for videos as well. They're both good for selfies, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, they're, they're three level different brightness levels. Brightness level differences. Yes. Okay. So yeah. So the whole idea is to you know is to provide with extra light, you know, when needed, and that's detachable from the main device and that it can bring with you uh, for both products. Really yeah. cool. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Okay. Thank you very much, Thank and you. hope to see you soon.